Hey guys, it's Narcast here, and we are doing a video on how to build a PC. All the components you see in this picture will be listed in the description below, and give us any feedback on how we could have improved the video or anything like that. So, let the video begin. Place the motherboard box on the desk as a non-conductive workbench. Then place the motherboard on the box to work on. Now we will tell you how to install a CPU. Lift up the pin. Place, align the CPU with the arrow in the socket and slot it in. It should just drop in. Close the pin. Now to install the RAM, pull the ejectors back on the DIMM slots. Align the RAM with the notch in the DIMM slot and push down until the ejectors clip back in. And repeat this for the second DIMM slot or as many RAM slots or DIMM for as many RAM sticks you have. We are using the stock cooler. Make sure there is thermal paste on the CPU or the cooling block. Make sure the two metal clips on either side attach to the metal or the plastic clips on the motherboard. Then pull the black lever back until it locks into place. Then stick the CPU fan into the CPU fan on the motherboard. If you have any extra fans, make sure you install them onto your case before you stick any other component in and then you can cable manage the cables for it and then get them ready for when you stick the other main components in. Make sure you get the airflow com coming in and out equally or you'll have different static pressures. When installing your power supply, make sure it's at the correct orientation for your case depending on the airflow you want. Before installing your motherboard, make sure the I.O. shield is in. Then, slot your motherboard into the case and make sure it fits the I.O. shield correctly. Once that's done, you can screw in all the screws. Before installing your graphics card, make sure you pop out the PCIe Express slots on the back of the case. Then you may slot your graphics card in and screw it in for secure fitting. Now it's a simple case of just plugging in your cables. You need to plug in a 6 pin or whatever pin to your graphics card, then the 4 pin to your CPU area, and then the 24 pin to the motherboard. In this case, the hard drive is mounted to a tray which slots into the case. Make sure the cables are prepared for the tray when it goes in so it's easy to slot in. Now plug in the cables into your DVD drive and your SATA and you'll be good to go. And that's it. The components are as they follow. The power supply in this PC is a power core 550 watt modular. The CPU in this build is an Athlon X4860K quad core, clocked at 3.7 GHz with a turbo to 4.1. This sits on the ASRock FM2A88M HD motherboard and the RAM in this PC is the HyperX series 8GB 2x4 gig sticks clocked at 1866MHz and the graphics card which is powering all this is the Sapphire AMD R7 260X with 1GB of GDDR5 If you guys have any questions about the PC and how it performs, just leave us a comment or email us. If you want to see more stuff like this, give the video a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Ciao for now.